Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. In this video, I'll be explaining how we can model void text lab bridges in Midas Civil. For the demonstration purpose, I'll be considering the following section. As you can see, it is having a number of circular voids. So, Midas Civil is a finite element software and the software doesn't detect circular or polylines for calculating the section properties because it requires nodes and we have to divide the section for achieving accuracy. So since it is having many circular lines, we have to make some adjustments to the section before taking it to the SPC that is the section property calculator. For that purpose, I have done certain uh, changes to the section so the major change is that I have divided the circular section into number of parts and I have replaced each circular curve with straight lines apart from that I have made sure that I have given a horizontal line at the top and at the bottom of the circular holes now let's take this section to SPC for that purpose we have to import it as, it as DXF go to file export current window click on DXF change the name to trial file click on save now let's go to the model go to tools section property calculator since i have defined everything the dimensions that i have chose for the autocad drawing is in meters i'll select meter here click on ok let's go to file import AutoCAD DXF click on the three dots you can see that the trial click on open click on ok click on ok so now you can see that the section has been taken to SPC and internal nodes are generated now let's go to the model section click on generate here we will give a name as trial a11 select plane select the section calculate section properties now click on apply now the software will automatically mesh the section and the section properties will be calculated so this is the main requirement for creating small lines to simulate the circular voids so that the nodes are generated now go to model section click on export select meta section file click on the three dots trial one one save now select this section click on apply Let's go back to our model. So void text lab can be modeled in two different ways. One, it can be given as a single line element or we can model it as a more a grillage wizard, a grillage model, sorry. So first of all, I'll be showing you how the void, the void text lab will look like once we are taking it from SPC because most of the users are having concerns regarding like we are making some changes to the section so I'll just demonstrate how it look like go to the properties click on section click on add go to the PAC tab PAC value section data import from SPC here you can select style one one click on open click ok 
I'll be keeping everything as auto. These parameters are for design, so I'll be just giving some random values. Click on OK. Now go to node or element, create nodes. I'll be creating a node at the origin. Apply. Node is created at the origin. Go to extrude and equal distance 30. Select the node. Click on apply. So now you can see that the section is generated and you can see that the voids are almost circular. I hope this much is clear. Now let's see how the software helps us for creating a grillage model. Let's open a new model. I've already taken the properties, material properties, that is concrete and also steel. Let's go to the section. I have considered the same section that is that we have seen just now. You can see that. Now let's go to the structure tab. We are having a grillage model wizard. So the grillage model wizard is mainly used for creating grillage models of void deck slabs or multi-cell PSC box. I'll open a wizard. Trial wizard. So first of all, it is a model type that is 2D that I'll be selecting. The bridge material that is concrete. Span information, I'll be needing three spans of 20 meter each. Skew angle, I'm not providing anything. Offset. So these are the boundaries. I'll be going for the bearing type. Let's go to the span. So here we are having a guide diagram from which all these values are pretty much clear. For the section, I'll be selecting the sample section and copy the current span data to other spans that is span 2 span 3 everything will be copied let's go to the section so here here we can see that the software will be dividing the section for grillage in this fashion okay so let's go back here we can see that we have provided horizontal lines at the top and bottom thus the grillage wizard will be dividing the section in such a manner that it will create an imaginary line through the center of this horizontal line and through this horizontal line. Thus, the section will be divided. Go back to the model. I hope this is clear. Let's we can divide it in two different ways web based or slab based. If it is slab based, then it will be divided through the center. But here, since we are creating we have provided horizontal lines here. The web based will be the best approach. Let's go to the transfers. Here we'll be providing the median, how the medians are coming, and also the bend cap, if any, the loading. For the demonstration purpose, I am just providing the cell fade. We can provide pavement, barrier, median, sidewalk, even settlement, temperature, temperature gradient, bin load. All these things can be provided, even the moving loads. Going back to the tendons here, the tendon property we have to define. Click on the three dots, add the name as trial, and the material is 42E. The number of strands it's 10. Click on OK. Click on OK. Sorry, we have to give a duct diameter of 0.1. Okay. Close. So here we can see that all the tendon lists are generated. This I have already defined it previously. Click on the reinforcements. Click on okay. The model has been generated. We can see that it is a three span. Now going on to the section, 
we'll just select these sample sections select activate so now we can see that the software has automatically divided the void decks labs into different sections and the grillage model is generated so this will be the main drain main girders and these will be the transfers deck elements so this is how midas helps us for generating grillage models for void text slab i hope this was useful so stay tuned for much more interesting videos thank you